Dual Review is brought to you by NexusDigitalComics.com. On today's Dual Review, it's Steam Boy. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. It's the 21st of June, and we're taking a look at the anime Steam Boy. That's right. It's a uh, steampunk-driven 2004 anime. Um, basically, it's about James Ray Steam, very creative last name there, Steam, because it's the Steam Universe, whatever, who's actually voiced by Anne Paquin. Go figure. And actually, Anna. both... Anna. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Anna Paquin. What did I say? Anne? I don't know. And basically, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, both, both versions, the English and the Japanese version, are are voiced by a female character, which is on. Hi! But we're going to talk about the English version, which also has Patrick Stewart, or should I say Sir Patrick Stewart, because he's been hey, knighted. Anyway. I'm going to say Sir Patrick Stewart, because <laughs> he's a knight now. What, isn't he a cripple? What? <laughs> Professor X. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> it also has another uh, Marvel character, Alfred Molina. Molina? Is that what I said? Mm -hmm. Molina, yeah. Who is actually wonderful. <clears throat> so basically what happens is, uh, James Ray Steam is given a steam ball, again, very unique with the words, steam ball, from his grandfather, and that is being hunted down by the, um, the O'Hara Foundation, who's kind of starting a war, you know, trying to, trying to really drive things. It's very, you know, it's got pol politically driven roles, it's got, you know, this, this youth kind of driven ideas, you know, a lot of fun stuff, all behind, all with the steampunk backdrop, you know, it's just... It's just really cool, and visually, I think this movie is top-notch. I love the visuals in this. I love the steampunk, you know, machinations that they use. The uh, the cool, like, I don't know, big wheel cycle thing that they had in there. You know, that's pretty awesome. And the cool tanks and stuff. The like, director studio? Did you say that? I did not, and I did not write it down. Because uh, it's not Ghibli. No, most it's not. People, most people think it is Miyazaki or something, it's but not. it's not. Yeah. But that does go to tell you how wonderful it is. Yeah, it is. It, it is really it good. Did a good job. I actually was really a little bit reluctant to see it for some reason, uh, but when I saw it, I enjoyed it, and it made me think I was going to ask you because I know you like the Rocketeer. Did I do it remind you of the Rocketeer. It does, and I think That's to me, too. yeah, I, I think I think a lot of the same kind of you know uh, strapping on a jetpack and having the freedom of the air. Sure, you know that that kind of feel ha is definitely there, and it's also I mean, got this kind of innocence. And I'm sorry, even the palette. You know, yeah, it's like those warm yeah, the colors that they use, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, this, this I really like this movie. I thought it was a yeah, wonderful movie. You know, uh, there's there's just a lot of cool stuff. I think the voice acting was really good. You know, Patrick Stewart. I love him in just about everything that he's ever done. Ever, Sir Patrick Stewart, I should say, Captain Jean Luc Picard. Um, you know, Alfred Molina does a wonderful job. He's another. I think he's a very underrated actor for some reason. You know, I mean, people should know who he is, but. You know, when they see him, they go, oh, what's that guy's name? I don't remember. Yeah. He was he was Doc Ock, you know? But more so, he's Alfred Molina. He's, he's pretty good. I enjoy him. And he does a wonderful job uh, in the role that he plays. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Kachiro Otomo. That's probably why I didn't write it down. I couldn't say it. And, uh... Was I, should, the I should never look at friggin'... I, I can never find anything when I need... Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm looking for the, the production house produced by... Uh, do, do, do sunrise. sunrise sunrise okay well they do a lot of anime so yeah and it is a wonderful anime it is uh, i think i'm gonna say wonderful anime like six more times <laughs> uh visually it's striking what else the uh the 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 soundtrack in the background it's fate you know you don't you don't really hear it well except for some parts there's you know cool stuff um but it is it is very fluid it, it does feel yeah, very anima natural animation is very clean very very uh, nice it is a wonderful anime it really is yeah I agree. Uh, I think it's only you know an hour and a half, hour and twenty. Yeah, minutes it's not like long. That. Although uh, although some parts are made to kind of kind of draw out, you know, make it elongate, and, and you can definitely minutes. feel it. Um, but it is worth the entire movie. So if you're feeling like oh this is kind of getting boring, it, 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 don't don't turn it off. It's going to get really good real soon. You know, there's a lot of really cool cool explosions and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess it also kind of reminds me of Nausicaa, although it's, it's updated as far as animation and whatnot is concerned. Uh, <clears> yeah. I... I don't know what else we can say. Unfortunately, it's not on Netflix, so no. this is one you're going to have to rent or right. you know find find online. But I don't think you'd be sorry if you're if you're a fan of anime 
and uh, you know you like Miyazaki films. Uh, this is similar. It's not cr- it's not like spiritual, right? Like yeah, Miyazaki, it doesn't. Yeah, but it still has that kind of rooted, you know, childlike uh, aspect to it, right? Uh, and yeah, I, again, it's just really enjoyable. It's a lot of fun seeing the little machinations and you know the steam things. The only problem that I have with it is the the silly names of the, the steam ball. Why why are you <laughs> going to call it a steam ball? You could have come up like I don't know. Well, maybe that was lost in translation. You know? Possibly, possibly. Who knows? Uh, you can find trailers on online YouTube, and, right? Uh, but I would say if you could find it, you, know, you, sh- you should probably buy it. It is really good buy, especially if you love anime. You know, it's just it's up there. You know, it is, it's it's it sits right next to you know, uh, Howl's Moving Castle and and yeah. Princess Mononoke and and uh, Castle in the Sky. You know, Noki. it's just it's really good. Film. Princess Mononoke. I can't make you. I can't let you say it wrong. Mono- you said Mono- 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 Mononoke. Princess Mononoke. M O N. There you go. M O N O K E Mononoke Mononoke Mononoke. I was trying to see if Steve Princess Bloom Mononoke. was in it because he's freaking everything. Paul Newman's in the the English version. Paul Newman. Yeah, he's great. So yeah, it's one of those ones that that crossed over and got you know Hollywood names like stage actors, right? Stuff, right. Not just the anime guys. Yeah. So it, again, really good. I, I it's funny because I didn't even recognize um, it was Anna Paquin's voice until. I, I looked up who did the voice, you know, I was like, wait, that's, that's not Anna Paquin, you know, that, that sounds like a young British boy, you know, <laughs> so. Anything more about the story you want to tell? Or? See, no, because, no, no, there's not much more I want to say about the story. Okay, so we'll let it unfold for you. Yeah, because it is, it is a fun ride, it really is. All right, uh, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, tell us what you think. Uh, we have, uh, check out our wares on spiderwolf.com, we have t-shirts, prints, card game, and short stories, and we have Kickstarter stuff to come. That's right. And uh, a lot of new stuff that we're releasing little by little. Right. So stay tuned for all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Oh, oh, oh we both... No. Oh, no. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, wait. <laughs> Yay, I got oh, it. <laughs> we were both having... To... My... What the hell? My thing the came hell? out. My... But in, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave my gun. <laughs> Get out. I banish thee to the you pit of hell. You will be expelled. <laughs> we both had gun tech difficulties. Two or three. That was weird. Our next movie is The Maiden Heist. I believe I can touch the sky. Wait, how's that song go? I believe I can fly, I can believe I can touch the sky. Right. I believe I, I can touch fly. the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and spread my legs. I'm thinking a different version. Yeah. Uh, right. I believe I can soar. Yeah, that's right. Something about an open door. I don't know. Run right through that open door. Should we have a a vote on whether you should keep singing or not? Because you like singing like every episode now. I sing all the time. I've been singing since day one. You came out of the womb singing. I did. My dad was like, shut that thing up. <laughs> hey, now I take so that role. Yeah. Today is June the 21st, and we're going to be taking a look at the anime movie, Steam Boy. That's right, and it came out in 2000. I, I can't seem to say it normally. Steam Boy? I, I said, Steam Boy! I'm like, Steam Boy. Steam Boy. It came out in 2004, and basically it's a stunk steampunk anime. <clears throat> and base. <clears throat> wow, now I got something in my throat. <clears throat> no, please don't look. Don't ever, ever do that again. Ever. <clears throat> People challenge me, I do it. I have just been violated. <laughs> what? Uh, My personal space has been violated. That that's weird. I don't know why you did that. You I felt your breath here. I didn't breathe, I held You're my like, breath. I held my breath because I don't want to smell you. <laughs> Alright, we need to do that again. We're Obviously. Start over. <laughs> can, we, can we get another round, please? I believe I can soar.